Okay. So the energy been thick. Let's see. What the lighter side got going on? <laughs> That's what I want to know about all that other energy. Let's see what the lighter side got going on. Or if we can't see. My eye jumping like a mug. Um... Let's see what's going on. If there's still some other stuff to come out, I guess that's just the energy here. But we gonna see. We gonna see. We gonna see. We got beyond, okay? So somebody um, uh, is beyond angelic. Um, somebody could use, um, that's too many. Somebody can use, um, you know, any form of divination. Somebody could really be into music here. It says, I love you. Okay. So, um, your future self could be letting you know that they love you we have changed right on the top okay so because you made certain changes your future self is letting you know i love you for making these changes and going beyond um you know what i'm saying to do so um probably to even secure a better future okay uh also going beyond could have helped you find love for you okay and also the beyond loves you okay so that is some some damn beautiful energy change wanted to flip out anyway so yes you showing the love for yourself by you know making these changes too as well okay so you could have even you know started journaling started to look in the mirror started to reflect okay and you made those changes that you needed to make we got revolution here so woo trans Woo! okay hold on then shoot you done transcended we got the revolution here okay so you done transcended you are um very powerful um this is an inhaler on here so and you know you need that breath for life Ooh. So, ooh, <laughs> somebody got that beyond breathed on them and they sat up there and transcended here. And now they're one with everything. And that's cause for celebration, enchantment. So somebody is like a, oh shit. Look, look what the heck came out, the hermit. Somebody you put in solitude, you listen to that spiritual guidance, and now you are, you could be like your spiritual guide. Like, this is wow. Listen, and you channel. You can get channels from, you know, different animals. Uh, you channel great energy. So you could be a channeler, okay? And channeling things from beyond, okay? So connect. Yes, you connected here, okay? So that is beautiful, okay? So yes, you are very connected. You are a divine feminine, okay? Look, the gateway, the vision, you have it, okay? So this is some beautiful, beautiful, wonderful energy, okay? So you did the damn thing, okay? So now you're a spiritual guide and that breath is breathed right on you. This is the moon coming out here, okay? So spirit law here, okay? And you see into those illusions and things like that. You have the vision, okay? You could have retreated, silent retreat here, okay? Music could be very significant. This person got their headphones in. 
And you know what? These headphones don't even look like they plugged into no phone or nothing. It's plugged into nature. So, yeah. Yeah, you decided to pour love into you, okay? Um, and you had a union with... with I'm going to say the most high because that is the beyond, okay? You, you had a union... And you came together with spirit here. And now you have unconditional love and you are the blueprint here. Listen, this is just, this is, yep, this was your judgment. And this talks of being in atonement in one here. Transcending, being one with the universe. Universal oneness. Judgment here. This was your karma, which is beautiful here. We have the chariot. So you hopped on your chariot and hopped towards peace. And now you have now you have the truth and you have a beautiful aura. And it has the heart right in the middle. So you are very loving and you are the blueprint here. And you are the truth. You are a star seed. You ain't even from here. You're a star. Look, oh shit. Look at the top. The star, restoration, right after that, being initiated, right after that, the world in bliss. <laughs> you are a star. Listen, exactly when I say that, and you're not even from here, the star right on the top. So you've been restored here. Yep, we got, you, you're like walking meditation here. Empress, right at the top, right after that, grace in the sun. So you just, you just decided to go. It says, just go. You decided to go walk in the wilderness here, go on that journey. That's what you should decided to do. Look, and what came out choices, alchemize, you decided to alchemize here and made some better choices for you here, which restored you. Look. Now you hold the keys. Look, creation, solo, one, being one, one spirit, one understanding, being one with the most high, being one with the divine, being one with the entire universe, solo creation, even though it's really not solo is, you know, with he that is within you, but solo creation powerful and you have the key look to create again look create look listen <laughs> y'all to create hermetic listen to create you things being brought back to your memory through these channeled messages here mommy wata it's already happened you have compassion Okay, in love, even if it's hood love, love from the hood, you could be hood, honey. But you got that hood love, that community love, okay, that reaches far. Metaverse, okay, you could be, um, yeah, you get channels from all over. Look, this is confirmation here. The world card here, that's bliss here, them, that's them endings and new beginnings here. Yeah, this is confirmation here, okay? So you can retreat. You could be silent if you want to, okay? Okay, because you're protected, okay? And you are the star and wanted to come out anyway, and you have been initiated, okay? You are an angel, a healing angel here, the temperance pouring into the world is what you do higher self you're connected to the most high that is your higher self your higher self has been activated you were initiated into this here this was your initiation you made the sacrifices needed to be made you paid attention to what the fuck was going on here now your higher self is listen and things are coming into balance because we do that say the the equalizer okay Y'all know how I feel about that car. And it's something to celebrate. Okay? You celebrate you. You're very enchanted. Look at the look. Look at the tolerance and the high priestess. 
No, not the high priestess. You the higher font. You the higher font. And look at all of these souls. This all over both of these cards. So you tolerate all of these different types of souls and all of these different types of people here. You bear it all. You are the higher font. That's what you done leveled up and became. I was about to say the high priestess. Listen, you the higher font. You God body here. God body. Sing. Yeah, you sing in a new tune. Guidance here. You were guided here. Great diviner. Miracles here. Let go. Okay? You have a higher perception than anybody. My body is getting hot. My body is getting hot right now. Like, you're powerful. Spirit. Spirit, this person is, well, I ain't going to say y'all body. Y'all body. This person is y'all body. Yes. Clear. Is this person spirit in the flesh? Yes. Clear. I don't even know what else to ask. <laughs> I am heated. Like, and the temperature ain't changing here or nothing. My, I'm hot. This is beautiful. I feel the power. I feel the heat. Okay. Somebody powerful is. Fuck. Somebody is spirit in the flesh. Somebody holds and carries that spirit. Somebody was initiated and went through the sacrifices and the things that they needed to to do so and become. Ace of Pentacles. That talks of new opportunities, new beginnings. Um, after being, you know, being that fool and letting go of those burdens, letting go of those regrets here. Okay. Um, Having different opportunities for the bag um, from choosing to let go and walk away here to the truth. The higher font right after that in search of the truth. Planted those seeds. Even after being traumatized, heartbroken, lost, went through a death and a rebirth. Now they're a very powerful being got choices in different avenues with different things that this person wants to do okay i'm just i was just looking i was about, I was about to pick that up because it says i am infinite here engineer the ability to give creative energy and a practical expression talent for designing resolutions to common dilemmas 
So literally a whole engineer and good at whatever you do. You're a liberator, okay? So you free people, okay? And you also freed yourself, okay? You freed yourself and you free others from outmoded beliefs, all of those old beliefs, okay, to release those negative uh, thought patterns and release that negative energy, okay? You are a visionary. Yet again, it came out. So you're a visionary. You have the capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others. So, uh, and you and you have the willingness to proclaim the visions without regard for any personal gain is not for your personal gain you are helping others even with those visions uh that you receive okay you're letting people know even you know you don't even know was you know <laughs> even about to go on and look child eternal here but you still you stand on those visions that you get you trust in the most high here we got child eternal very determined okay to remain young in body mind and spirit you have the ability to see things with fresh eyes okay so you have a child eternal uh within you too as well here so a uh, very beautiful, very beautiful, beautiful energy here. You are a priest. So even though the high priest didn't come out, you are a priest. Okay. Or a high priestess. Okay. You, um, you facilitate spiritual commitment and you serve as a channel of spiritual energy. So you are a channeler and channeler uh, appeared quite a few times uh, within that. OK, so you are a worker uh, for the most high here. We have angel here. So you are an angel on earth helping those in need with no expectation in return. You're a hedonist here. You inspire creative energy to embrace the good things in life. You celebrate the beauty beauty within yourself as well. So you celebrate the beauty within you and you create things, um, and use your creative energy to embrace all of the good things in life, no matter where you are. So that is a very beautiful Messiah spirit in the flesh. Like I said, and it's the mother here <laughs> right at the top of the deck, Messiah serving humanity with humility. Okay. So you have that energy of the Messiah. Okay. We have here mother. You're very nurturing. You're very patient. You give unconditional love and you have joy in giving birth to life. Okay. So even if you are a mother, you give life to other individuals. So it's just like you are a mother. Look at the father right after that. So you have that balance. Okay. Even within you. Okay. You are a healer. You are a child in nature. You have friendships. You cool with the animals and stuff like off of snow white energy, whether you are a man or a female, you have, you communicate with nature and spirits. You are a healer. You have a passion to serve other people, repairing the body, the mind and the spirit. Okay. You have the ability to help and transform pain into healing. You did it with your own. Okay. Child eternal again, you have that child, um, you have that child, you know, internal like nature. Uh, so that's beautiful as well. You are a mentor. So you've been passing on wisdom, um, in refining, a uh, student's character or whoever you've been teaching here. You are a warrior here. You have the strength, the skill, the discipline and the toughness of will heroism, stoxism and self-sacrifice in conquering the ego. So you even, and look at her with this lightning bolt. So you're very powerful and you even conquer your own ego to get done what needs to be done. You even move yourself out the way to get done what needs to be done. You're a wonderful companion. You're very loyal and you're very unselfish. And you have that tenacity here as well. So, ooh, shouts out to you, okay, in your power. I had to pull this archetype deck because it's like I felt, I felt the power. I felt the power. I felt the heat as well here. Yeah, you are a seeker here. So you have a thirst for wisdom and truth. 
Okay, wherever it is, okay, you are a servant of the most high, okay, that's why um, you were enabled to inherit that spirit and inherit that light. You are his, you are his servant, his seeker, his warrior, his mentor, his visionary, his healer, you are his son. You are a, a priest or a high priest. You are a liberator. You are an engineer. You are all these things. Spirit in the flesh. Companion came out. So you're definitely loyal. You're definitely a wonderful companion. You're definitely a wonderful servant. You help and serve others and you take delight in it with a free loving heart. So that is beautiful. Let's get some of these personal power messages as well here. And you are worthy of this. Know that you are worthy and you are worthy to carry this power. You are worthy uh, to be chosen. You are worthy of all of this here. It says I am worthy. Okay. And that's why you were chosen because you are are worthy okay okay you trust in divine timing and you're unbreakable here uh we have i embrace change you embrace the change you are very lovable and you are confident here you are a sacred being right at the top of the deck here you are a sacred a sacred being the number 11 could be very significant here you can see 11s a lot And you're very curious, okay? Because that, that could be, you know, the things that you seek. It says, I reveal my truth. So you reveal your you reveal your truth and you know how to release what no longer serves you. Look, I'm all in your business too, though. Oh, these don't even belong in this deck. So you're gifted here. You could be the gifted one in the community and people want to lock you down or lock you up or have you imprisoned here because that didn't even belong in this deck but i'm trying to get all in your business now i want to see what type of powers is i mean you're very powerful and you hold so much and it's already built into your character but i'm just gonna dive a little bit deeper because i'm nosy <laughs> i'm gonna dive a little bit deeper because i'm nosy i'm nosy so this wanted to slide out. I am connected. This slid off Gemini energy. So you're connected uh, in the visions that you see. You see deep into things. We have a, a magnifying glass. We have messages here that talks of communication. We have a, a Wi-Fi signal. So your signal and your aura radiates long and wide here. So that's like crazy energy here. Yeah, and you have that love. So you're connected to the hearts of many. Um, and you know how to release what no longer serves you. So that slid off. So I'm going to take it within the pal. So we're going to actually get into, you know, some of the other powers and things that you hold and things that you're able to do. Because again, I'm in your business. <laughs> your business. Okay. So what is it? Venus, you are love. And look, that heart, that heart. Um, wow, man, that heart and that aura, you are Venus, you are love. And remember that blueprint came out and it shows a heart. You are the blueprint. You are love. You're deeply, you're deeply connected to Venus, a fount of love, affection, and a robust sensuality, bringing otherworldly pleasure. So you are love herself. feeling so you can feel uh you can make others feel you can make others feel what you feel you can feel their energy and your energy inspires energy okay uh just be careful with who you invoke or inspire in others because it will come back to you okay 
okay you're out of reach so again you're out of this world you are royalty as well here so your looks often trigger people's insecurities making them feel like you are out of their league which helps you weed out people that don't vibrate the same as you because nobody should think nobody is out of nobody's god dang on league you know we were all we all here we all was born in the darkness until the most high turns on that light uh yeah others may have more than others others may have more accomplishments some people might be ugly some people might be pretty but those things don't matter what matter what matters is actually what the fuck is on the inside of you Okay, we have royalty. You have royalty qualities that command power and causes extreme reactions. You're either loved or hated, challenging them to become better. So by your very presence, it challenges people to, you know, be different, move in different ways. So sometimes you're loved for it because they make those changes and their life is better. But sometimes you hate it for it because a lot of people don't want to make no, no damn changes. <laughs> They like get your ass out. Of here. Diviner, okay, you're a great diviner here. Uh, you have a natural talent for divination, revealing what is hidden, or you hear answers that may come in many different forms to help you po to point you in the right path, okay, or to even help others, you know, be pointed into the uh, right direction or the right path as well. So you're a very great, uh, diviner here. And you also have psychic dreams. It comes out in many forms. So even your dreams, you dream and have visions and things of things that's going to occur, uh, within the future as well. So becoming more aware of your dreams can allow you to make better choices to avoid tragedy and embrace the positive changes that may be about to happen. Okay. So your dreams, uh, they warn you too, as well of events that, you know, you know, come up and, uh, happen self-reliance. So you're independent free spirit who is here to learn and teach love and freedom. Okay. Enabling others to experience and master self-love and independence here. Okay. So you here to, you know, show others, you know, self-love, you know, how poor and how important it is to love thyself. Okay. Because when you don't love yourself, that man that's a raggedy foundation and when you don't have no foundation with the most high it's a raggedy foundation it just truly is we got clear sentience here so you have the ability to feel deeply into situations places or people sensing something beyond the physical realm so again you're beyond you are beyond as well you get your love from beyond and all of that but you are one of them so you're not even of this world Hold on, that's too many. <laughs> okay, but listen, you are a teacher, a seeker, double seeker that came out. Your natural thirst for wisdom and truth elevates your spiritual journey and your self-awareness to help those that are also in search of answers in their own path. You are a teacher. You teach people things here. Your words have power to heal, making you a source of light for the wounded that come to you for, for your guidance and wisdom to give them strength in direction as well here. We have relationships, okay? So you have a talent also for mentoring and counseling relationships and people's relationships because you have the ability to guide others to their path to love because of your own experiences that you experience uh, in love and dealing with other individuals here. You are mystical. Again, you're a, yeah, you're, mis, you're, you're a mystic and you're mystical. Something very mystical about you, which gives people the impression that you are very much in your power and you are. Okay. Anything else? Okay. We got femininity. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. You ain't from here. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that. You know what? Cause this stuff is just spilling out. You not from here. I mean, well, you're not of this world. Bottom of the deck, dream girl. You have many options in love and that puts you in a place of power. You're their dream girl, the ultimate prize to win here. Okay, so I'm going to actually 
these is just the rest that I'm going. Because if, if I kept shuffling, more would have probably came out. Okay, but you you flourish in your femininity. You're a mix of girlish charm and mature sensuality. You can draw them in without them even knowing. A subtile, luring effect here. So, you you know, you're very feminine too as well here. Or you embrace your femininity. Okay, again, divine feminine did come out here. So we have mind power. You're a higher level soul with a mission to create transformation in people's mind so their emotions can come into balance. So you hold great mind power as well here. You're an empath as well here. So you have empathetic abilities being able to feel another person's emotions as well as their thoughts and energy having no control or awareness over this exchange so you can't even control the shit that you be feeling <laughs> and you are really truly a filler you really feel things within other people because i want to point this out the empath came out feeling came out shoot i want to ask how you doing because <laughs> you be feeling all kinds of shit <laughs> and clear sentience that's three. So you really be feeling the word. It ain't no joke. You really be feeling, you really be feeling stuff beyond and in, and in the natural world. Performer here. So you are meant to be in the spotlight and be successful doing it with the natural ability to draw a crowd and influence others with your charm and your talents dimension traveler so you can travel different dimensions you're able to open gateways to realms outside of this dimension it can be discovered naturally or open through the performance of rituals decide your realm so you could travel the different dimensions jump timelines and shit and <laughs> so you rebel OK, your rebellious mind is a force that is able to remove the smoke screens, which cloud the minds, someone who follows their own path and not that which is popular. So you go your own way. You rebel against the norm. You rebel against the crowd and what everybody else is doing. We have T's here. So you suck people in without them even knowing. You showcase your sexuality, but only a few get a chance to play with you, making you a master in teasing. So, yeah, you would tease. Very sensual, very beautiful. You can even be very, you know, sexual, sensual, you know. But you're a tease because don't nobody even get to really even get a chance to even actually experience you. Okay, uh, we have a star seed. So again, you're not from here. Star seed, double confirmation. You are a traveling soul from another planet who incarnated on earth to inspire and heal human beings and to participate in the planet's evolution. You are, you are an old soul. And I bet you is an old soul being spirit in the way. You old. <laughs> you got an old soul. Okay. You'd have been around many lifetimes and you chose to be reborn and to evolve and carry on your learning journey from where you left it in your previous life. You are a crystal child. Okay, you're here to help um, uplift the planet of harsh energy, bringing forth healing and peace and also assist humanity in soul growth and evolution. You have healing hands as well. There's power in your hands. You are you are able to use universal energy with your hands to help people alleviate spiritual, physical, or mental suffering and clear energetic blockages. By your very touch, you help people, okay? It says unseen. You have an invisible force, an intangible quality, impossible to describe. You're very alluring in a non-obvious way keeping them puzzled and curious to know more so that could be that light that's within you okay we have here sophisticated you are a you have a higher understanding of sex and sexuality it's authentic and empowering often having a shocking effect on people and provoking insecurity within others but you have a higher understanding period than most people here you are a shaman 
here. You can tap into a powerful way of guiding your life in the lives of others, often through great struggle that you learn to break free and awaken to the truth to help others. Okay. So you've been through it too. You ain't just, you know what I'm saying? You'd have been, you'd have been through, you've been down through there. Look, look what's on the bottom. Just, I flipped over a channeler. That's what you is. You a channeler and you bring hope, the greatest gift here, and you're very hypnotic. Okay, but you are a divergent here. You stand out from the rest. The way you think, the way you dress is rare and unique, making you very desirable. You're also a catalyst. You are someone that invokes progress and change in people, making them aware that something could be better, leaving them forever changed. So when you enter people's lives, you leave them forever change they're normally not the same something about them has changed within them after you've been in their life first house yeah this is talks about your body this is your identity your consciousness okay your beauty in your character this is your very nature that we're talking about here you have the gateway in the vision life philosophies you have been awakened okay this talks of your awakening so look and see what sign is in your first house uh two as well we have a lunar eclipse so you had a dramatic change a shift in perception um you know, going through different cycles, endings and beginnings and constant transformation uh, to even get here. OK, you're meant to fulfill your divine contract. OK, so you're here. You are a divine being here to fulfill a divine contract. We got Mars here. So, yeah, there's a lot of people who could be angry about it. There's a lot of people trying to comp compete with you, fight, uh, because, you know, everybody wants to be that leader and in that leader position, okay? Um, but you're very ambitious here, okay? Uh, and you're war ready. You have the courage. You have a high sex drive too as well. You have the willpower to go on this conquest and be that leader in, in, in fighter. Okay. Sometimes you could be very impatient too as well and try to force things, but you know, calm down on that. But we have Mars energy here. So you make things go boom. Okay. Yeah, because this, this bomb is even golden. So you golden bomb. We got golden hands. Okay, number one here, a number one trophy in that picture. We have Saturn return. So you paid your dues. You had a wake up call. You had to grow up. You cleared the past. Remember that release and what no longer serves you did come out. You were stripped down so that you can come up. You faced your truth here. Saturn return. We have the pink moon. So now new and exciting opportunities. Okay. You focus on the new transcendent. So you definitely transcended. You're more mature. You're very full. Okay. You can be very fertile at the moment too, as well. And you took the first steps onto a new path. Okay. So that's beautiful. Okay. So that's that pink moon. Um, energy and then now we have the full moon so now we have blessings things blossoming you celebrating um you, you, again you re, you continue to release what no longer serves you you're doing the inner work recharging your energy letting go of the past and manifesting so listen bomb 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 okay focusing on your second house here your materials your possessions your money your work your income your values your aesthetics okay your security here um and your attitude towards you know different possessions here uh yeah you did the healing you healed your soul's wounds in all of that pain okay and now you have gifts you know, from cleansing and having that spiritual growth. We have teacher on here yet again. So you are a teacher. You are that wounded heal healer. Um, also check and see what is in your Chiron too as well. That'll show you some things that you also need to heal here uh, as well. You definitely made amends uh, with yourself here. Um, some things within you are changing here. 
So continue to stay on the path here, okay, even through unstable situations, okay, because there's going to be, we got the blood moon, you, you know, you have to do your shadow work, uh, continue to do that shadow work, things are going to continue to begin and end, so it's going to be constant change, constant transformation, continue to do the constant work, okay, you are also cleansing emotionally and being reset, Okay, you have a lot of spiritual growth here. You had to get rid of a lot of emotional baggage and destruction here. Okay, so there also will be, you know, some unexpected, you know, situations here. We got the Gibbous Moon here. So you're very close to achieving your goals here. You're in your final phase before completion. Some tweaking needs to be done, but pay extra close attention to the details and things. You are, you have trines in your chart. So that brings in luck, okay? That, you know, going with the flow of things and your talents here. You getting things and doing things effortlessly. Effortlessness, okay? You ain't got to put in much effort. Um, you're in harmony. Okay. So things come to you with ease. There's no friction. Okay. So you, you're definitely benefiting. Okay. Um, yeah, you surrendered and go with the flow again, you let go moved on. So you're resting, you're recuperating and you let fate take its course. Okay. Okay. We got mercury. So that talks of communication as well here. Remember when I said before with that Gemini connected card, you have a golden mind, you have golden vision. You're like a golden rose. You're very connected. You're very aware. Okay. Use your writing. Okay. You could also like to take short trips and things of that nature, but you are continuing to learn. You are very intelligent as well. And your perception is beautiful. We got the sun. Yeah. We got the sun here. So yeah, you're a leader. Okay. Uh, continue to, uh, Ooh, this is, this is the sun. This is spirit. So again, spirit in the flesh. Um, you work, continue to work on that ego. Be self-aware of that. Continue to express yourself. Be confident. Be that leader. Be happy and continue to create. Uh, you need to discipline yourself as well. Slow and steady. Nothing ha has to happen fast. Um, you could, because there are delays that could come up because you have tests. Okay. Cause you're, you are maturing here. Okay. And it's uh, helping you with your self-control and your limits and the things that you can endure. Okay. And your structures here. So that is, you know, great energy. You are a rebellion here. Okay. Get rid of that shame too, as well here. Uh, people can also try to seek revenge on you, but stand in your truth. Scorpio could be in your chart here that talks of transformation. Um, and you had an intense transformation. Okay. It could cause jealousy. Um, too as well. You're very mysterious. Astrological transits favor you at this time. So you are, you're definitely favored, uh, highly favored at this time, uh, within your career, uh, your reputation, fame that talks of your public image, your status and your purpose here. Okay. And you get in that notoriety and achievement and power building your empire. So check and see what's in your 10th house as well. We have cancer right on the top. So that talks of you being intuitive, very nurturing yet again here talks of family in your home, um, in your, you know, your emotions here. Sometimes you can have, you know, be insecure, uh, but this talks of birth and being receptive to new things here. So I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that because it's just beautiful energy. There's not really nothing that I could, um, there's not really nothing else that I could lay on this. I'm going to do an angel message and then I'm going to do, you know, because there's always something to be grateful for, especially this powerful, especially this powerful move here. These power, uh, these power moves here, opportunity to forgive. So you're being blessed with the opportunity to forgive, uh, others here. 
because it's going to help you. Okay, so it says here, this situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. Hold the uh, intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. Okay, so you have been given and granted the opportunity to, you know... Uh, forgive, see the light within others so you can move on, release certain thoughts and feelings and different energies as well. So it'll, you know, take some of that off of you and lift you to an even higher uh, position. So that's the message for the angels here. Okay. It says here, give thanks to Yahweh for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Gratitude is the fairest blossom which springs from the soul. Okay. The best things are nearest. Breath in your nostrils, lighting your eyes, flowers at your feet, duties at your hand in the path of Yahweh just before you. Okay. Give thanks to Yahweh for his unfailing love. Um, in his wonderful deeds for mankind okay so which is beautiful always give thanks we have okay nothing is on this part but we have many are the plans in a person's heart but it is yahweh's purpose that prevails okay you could have had different type of plans for your life but the most high had another plan for you uh you could have been trying to go and you know be something do something else but no you got a different job Okay, we have trust in Yahweh with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, okay, but his. Draw near to Yahweh and he will draw near to you, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and in. Y'all, I ain't even been really, I ain't been really pulling no music lately. I'm going to do it real quick. Hey, can we get, Ooh. We got Jay-Z featuring Kanye West and Beyonce Liftoff. We got Tony Tony Tone Anniversary. We got Young Thug, My City. Hold on. We got Kiana Lede, Skitterlude. And then we got Sneak Neil Diamond, I'm a Believer, off the Shrek. So go ahead and listen to that. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. I'm a believer. Hey. <laughs> so Shrek, the Neil, uh, Neil Diamond, I'm a believer. Kiana Lede, Skitterlude. Young Thug, My City. Tony, Tony, Tone, Anniversary. And Jay-Z featuring Kanye West and Beyonce, Lift Off. Because we going to take it to the moon, take it to the stars. How many people you know to make it this far? You supercharged. About to take this whole thing to Mars. Where's that damn Mars card at? <laughs> Hex no. About to take this whole thing to Mars, okay? And you is supercharged because I can feel your energy. I feel that heat. I feel that fire. I feel that passion. I feel that flame. Okay, so beautiful. Uh, I hope you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey. Um, even if it isn't you, something you can inspire to do, be have. All you got to do is make that connection. Um, you know, pray about it, you know, and see what the most high can have in store for you. Okay, thank you all for listening. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Know that Yahweh loves you, and I'll see you all later. Peace.